interrupt your regular friends with important breaking news. A, a important, we just found out that an unusual trial has been called, a preliminary hearing is being held today about a trial of a cold case. We go, so now we go live to Brenda Blocker at the courthouse. Brenda? Hi, I'm Brenda Blocker with WGOD News, right reporting live in front of the courthouse, where the Honorable Barry Tyson will be hearing arguments from the District Attorney Linda Green and Attorney Northern Dunbar as to whether or not to reopen a 2,000-year-old case. I've just got word to Nat that the judge has left, it, left his chambers and he's now getting ready to enter the courtroom. I go with you live now to the proceedings. All rise for the Honorable Judge Barry I am here to listen to several arguments. Whether or not we should reopen this very important case. But before I get started, there will be no walking, talking, chattering amongst yourselves. All electronic devices needs to be turned off, not silenced, not on vibration. There will be no recording of any types of videos, picture taking, etc. First, we will hear from Attorney Green District Attorney Green on her first argument. Thank you, Your Honor. After 2,000 years, the body of Christ demands a reopening and searching of files of the crucifixion of Jesus of Nazareth. Though he has risen, we know he has risen, because of the unjust and severe way that he is treated, he was treated, we demand and we're asking that this case be reopened. Evidence was falsified and many lies were told. No one spoke in his defense and many of the witnesses for Christ were never even called. Many of the witnesses from the former trial need to be subpoenaed because he was taken with cruel hands for no apparent reason. They killed him because they didn't understand him and they were afraid of him. With each and every miracle, and there were many miracles, he performed more and more people began to follow him. They were following him because they were convinced that he was and is the true Messiah. Your Honor, so they felt he was getting too popular. They felt that he would have caused an uprising and that he was going to draw the eye of the Romans. Who would have held the Jewish leaders accountable for public unrest and disturbance? Your Honor, they plotted to have him killed. So they took him, they beat him, they mocked him, and they hung him on a rugged cross to die. This was unjust. 
unjust, unfair, and your honor, he should be given a fair and trump proper trial so that the truth may finally be known to all mankind. Thank you, Attorney Green. Um, now I will hear opposing arguments from the prosecutor, Attorney Dunbar. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, we feel that this case is sealed and final because justice was served back at Golgotha. We do not need to use the taxpayers' money for something that was not only indeed necessary, but also justified. This man called Jesus was born of man, mere human. He went all about the land proclaiming to be the Messiah, Son of God, King of the Jews, and now how can this be when the real Jews are still awaiting for the true Messiah to arrive? The one that the scriptures spoke about in the Old Testament. This Jesus urged many to follow him. He even claimed to have healed the sick, raised the dead, all in the name of God. But after doing all this, he advised them not to tell anyone of these things. Anyone. Now my question to you, Your Honor, and him, if he was here, is why? Why the silence? Why not let it be known to everyone that you are the Messiah? The one that everyone been waiting for. Why the silence? If you are who you claim yourself to be, I know, because he did not do the works of God, but of witches and demons. <coughs> you are not asked that you not grant the reopening of this file. Why mess with the faith of so many who are waiting Christ, the true Son of God, to arrive, but keep it as a just crucifixion? Thank you, Attorney Dunbar. <coughs> I have heard from both sides, DA Attorney Green, <coughs> and from the possible prosecutor, Attorney Dunbar. And I will look over all the evidence here, which you both have supplied to me. And we will take a short recess so I can make my decision. All right. atmosphere there. Well, Jeanette, it seems that though some people are in front of me while the DA was speaking. So I'm going to go about and see if I can catch a few to see what their opinion of this situation is. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I have a moment? I saw that you were in attendance to this trial. Do you think that Judge um, Barry Tyson should open this case? Yes, I do. Do you have any vocal reasons why? Um, are you a Jew by chance? No. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. 
I see that you were in attendance. What is your feelings, what's your take on the DA's statement and the defense attorney's statement? think it should stay closed. Uh, by, uh, by chance, are you Jew or Christian? Christian. Yes, sir. Why would you, as a Christian, want this case to stay closed? Because it's already was written. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All the evidence was presented at the first at the first trial. Not at the trial, but after after the trial, all the evidence came out. So you feel as though uh, after the trial, all the evidence came down, so we should not hear this case in proximity, that this should be a done deal? By having the trial, it ain't gonna change that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> sir, I noticed that you were watching this proceedings with great anticipation. What are your thoughts about whether or not this trial should be open? I'm, I'm with this gentleman. I, I, I firmly believe that it should stay closed because it was forewritten what he would go through, how he would be born, how he would die, and the evidence, the authenticity of that writing is his resurrection. Now, sir, may I ask, are you Christian or Jew? I'm a Jew. <laughs> well, Jeanette, uh, as you see, we have some that would like for this case to reopen, but look like the majority is saying that it should stay closed because it has fulfilled its purpose in the beginning. Do any of them feel that he was unjustly treated and that some of the witnesses should need to come forth. Did anybody say anything like that? Well, from what I'm gathering from the audience is that though he may have, it may have been unjust to their sight, that it was forewritten in the Bible that these things shall pass and that these things shall happen. So it's in accordance to the word as far as I can tell from the audience. Okay. I think now that they say the judge is getting ready to come back, am I correct, Brenda? Uh, just a second. Yeah. Uh, my sources tell me that the judge is in leaving his chambers and will be uh, momentarily re-entering the courtroom.
my favorite judges on the bench, Judge Barry. He left in a hurry. There's just some cases I want to bring in. So, I can get to the judge before that time so that I can have some of y'all stuff scheduled. Oh, man, I want a ruling on it. I can get to him. I'll have him to come back one more time see if I can get a ruling because there's some people I definitely want to bring in the court. Amen. Some of you here, I'm going to get that subpoena served on you. You know? Amen. Uh, I'm intending to bring it. Is Miss Ann here? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, you're sweet size on me. Okay, man. Yeah, because I just want to know I'm bringing Bishop Davis. Bring them bits of rope in. Bring it in, uh, seven or five. Three feet. Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. My God, my God. Bring it in my own stand. Now, do you hear me? And I want the judge to battle my own guilty. Put him on probation. <laughs> Give him one more chance. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Did you enjoy these very talented I've been in church more than half of my life. You know, it's just amazing. How they do things that's so scripture related. And I think that's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Uh, uh, may I see uh, Sister Trace a moment? Yes, sir. You come back. Because I understand that there are some other things that we can look forward to uh, during the month of March. Not just this particular item, but we're going to have one setting or session here, up here. And then we're going to go, to, or either we're going to